Today, we will be diving into driver-based planning. So what is driver-based planning? Driver-based planning is a financial planning and budgeting approach that focuses on identifying and using key performance indicators or drivers to create more accurate and dynamic forecasts and budgets. Why driver-based planning? While using driver-based planning has many key benefits, some of these are improving forecast accuracy and reliability, increasing business agility, enabling planning across finance and other business functions, and connecting financial outcomes directly to operational activities. Let's see how we can use driver-based planning in Anaplan. This is our country lead homepage. Across the top and right-hand side of the page, we have various key performance indicators that allow our country lead to see various measurements of how the company is doing. To the left-hand side, we have our P&L and our balance sheet at a higher level. For this scenario, we're using a waterfall chart to compare the previous year actual net worth and the current forecast net worth. These breakdowns demonstrate the change in each section and how they contributed to the overall change. Moving to the bottom of the page, we can see variances from net sales and cost of sales. Here we're comparing our current year forecasting against our current year and previous year actuals. With an Anaplan, we have the ability to add conditional formatting to highlight the differences. Now that we've reviewed our country lead homepage, let's take a look at our PNL forecast dashboard where we can view our data at a granular level. Here is our PNL dashboard. On the left pane, we have the PNL forecast. Simply click on one of the line items to see the general ledger accounts that make up the total. For example, if you click on payroll, you see that we have three GL accounts that make up payroll. Similarly, if you click on cost of sales, you see that we have two GL accounts that make up cost of sales. Now let's take a look at our account driver mapping. Click on one of the GL accounts to view the driver selection. Here we can find our account driver mapping in our current driver selector. We have several options to choose from. Percent of sales, percent of COGS, percent of payroll, baseline times growth, and total headcount. Our data will update depending on the account driver mapping that is selected. For example, if total headcount is selected, we can see how our values have changed. For this example, we will be using percent of sales. For percent of sales, the system calculated the 48% based on last year's actuals. They're taking total sales times 48% to get the cost of sales. However, there is the ability to override current year forecast for percent of sales if desired. In addition to the driver options you will see available in our model's P&L and balance sheet dropdowns, TechLink's client implementations can result in a wide array of selectable options, depending on the client's business's needs. Often, we work with Anaplan's 20-plus predefined forecast methodologies, which help expedite scoping and implementation. At TechLink, we work with each client to ensure its selectable options are customized and reflect the corporation's planning, budgeting, or forecasting strategies. Now that we have our driver-based forecast, Let's move to the bottom of the page where we can make our final review and make adjustments as needed. In this section, we will be able to make our overrides for our forecasted value for the months that are necessary. In this example, we can use the month of July of 2023. We see that our current value is 87,360 and we want to update it to 90,000. We would take our override checkbox that will then allow us to input our new value. We can see how our override value has successfully updated to our forecasted value. To the left-hand side of the page, we are able to see our current year forecast with our updated override value. At the top, we are able to see our prior year actuals. We can also see our account detail chart at the bottom. Now that we've completed our final review, let's take a look at our PNL raw dashboard in this dashboard, we're able to see all of our PNL raw data. Let's take a look at our balance sheet dashboard. The functionality of this board is very similar to the PNL board that we just reviewed. 
we will be taking a look at inventories and updating the driver selector for food inventory. Once our account is selected, we will need to update our driver within our current driver selection. Currently, our driver is set to manual. We will update it to today's inventory outstanding. Once updated, we can see that our values have now changed. Just like in our PNL board, we have the ability to override our driver values if desired. For example, we can take our values for day's inventory outstanding for August 23rd and update it from 5 to 7. Once updated, we see our new value reflected of 9,972. Now that we have updated our current driver selection updates and have made our driver values override, we can move to our final review. In this section, no override forecast is necessary and no other adjustments are required for this account. To view the data at a more granular level, just like in our PNL RAW, we also have a balance sheet RAW dashboard where you can look at our data at a much granular level. To view the drivers selected for both balance sheet and PNL, we've created a dashboard that display our PNL and our balance sheet driver selection. In here, we have the ability to view all of our driver selections for all of the accounts, or we can simply edit them in our PNL or balance sheet dashboards. Thank you for joining us as we talk through how driver based planning can be used with an Anaplan. For more information, email us at anaplan at techlink.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our latest Anaplan Expert Series videos.